How's it going? Thank you. Appreciate it. No, we trained today. No, <laughs> no there's off days. <laughs> Yesterday was. Yes, Yesterday time days. management rules. We have yeah. to have off days. All right. Yeah, we'll probably just start with a uh, sure. statement just, uh, about the week that we saw and all that. And we'll next yeah, uh, one, um, uh, first, we're excited uh, about the achievement of winning the ACC and uh, and especially how we did it. Um, the, the week of playing uh, Notre Dame, who was uh, fifth RPI, and then Wake Forest, who was one, and uh, finishing with UNC, uh, who was three. And um, not only uh, winning the ACC, but against those opponents in a week's time, uh, I was very happy for our guys and uh, the achievement of it, and especially at a time now, it, you know, within the university of uh, producing some some positive news. So we were excited about that, and then uh, equally s excited um, about the draw, about uh, for the third year in a row getting a uh, number four seed and uh, having all home games uh, in the NCAA tournament leading up to the College Cup. Um, so we're excited about, um, uh, again, uh, the recent past and uh, where it sets us up for the, for the run in the NCAA tournament. Well, I could talk about it on, on two fronts. One, from uh, just a, a team standpoint and how we're playing and, and what uh, the ACC and playing teams like uh, Notre Dame and Wake Forest and UNC, what it does is it brings out the best in you. And uh, I think the run of those three this week has brought out our best at a time where uh, going into the NCAA tournament is, is critical. We we did two things uh, very, very well. One, we, we defended very well as a group, um, and the way we did it was to be collective as a unit. And those two things, I think, uh, this past week, we did very well. And then as far as the positioning goes, as far as the draw, we said this to our guys, uh, as you watch the, the NCAA brackets being revealed, there's no easy uh, journey. Uh, everybody that's in the tournament deserves to be there. and. Um, any team that, that we have to play, we're going to have to earn it. We understand that. Uh, but to be playing them at home, uh, the three matches prior to going to the Final Four, uh, certainly is an advantage. And I think we're uh, excited about earning that opportunity to play the matches at home. Dan, is there a certain comfort level to be able to, if you keep winning, you, you stay here? It, certainly. Absolutely. Not, not going on the road, uh, sleeping in your own bed, um, playing in front of the crowd here at Lynn. Uh, we've had our best moments in the program history playing here um, or in front of our, uh, our fans. So, y yes, it's, uh, it's comforting, exciting, and uh, an advantage to be playing here at home. It wasn't so much a surprise because we, we knew at the very beginning of the year what we had. Uh, the question, and I said this very early on, the question was uh, when we would become collective in what we do. And, and it took a good part of the season to figure it out. If you look at our lineups throughout the, the season, uh, we played a lot of different lineups, um, guys in different spots. Uh, and, and some of that was forced upon us by injury or forced upon us by accumulation of cards. Um, but in the end, I, th I thought we found a rhythm uh, this last week of uh, players who were starting, who was coming off the bench, uh, that grew as the week went on and uh, served us well. How many different lineups do you think you went through? And, and was there a moment where it all kind of clicked? Wow, we, we went through a lot of different lineups. And Garrett could probably attest to that. Every, every day I was uh, giving him a, another lineup, and it was, seemed to be a different uh, person in it. Um, I, I, I just know we, we, we were changing throughout the course of the season, some, again, due to uh, injury, some due to form. Um, but uh, going into the Notre Dame game, we felt like we found the, uh, the right rhythm.
something that I don't want to now when you have a game like that? And, and, and it seemed like after that game, it kind of clicked. Yeah, I, that game, I think, was a product of uh, simply college soccer. Uh, we have a lot of games in a short period of time. We're dealing with um, some 18, 19, 20-year-olds, and uh, Lipscomb is sandwiched on, on the one side of Syracuse, on the other side of Clemson, and um, and quite honestly, we didn't pay attention to it. Um, and they were a good enough team on a day where we were flat and not as focused, and uh, we just didn't uh, play very well. And um, it's a product of, of college soccer, and we paid the price for it. Um, but I, I, I do think it, it served its purpose in that it did catch our attention a little bit more and uh, probably filled us with a little bit more humility and understanding that on any given day, if we aren't focused, if we aren't paying attention, if we're not putting in the effort, then, uh, you know, in college soccer, anybody can, can win. Yeah, I, 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 we have the number one uh, strength of schedule uh, in the country, and it's a product of playing in the ACC, but I would also say our non-conference schedule is very, very good. And we, we understand it's not so much your record going into it, it is how prepared you are going into it. And we've said this for, for years, our, our schedule is set up to make sure once we get to postseason, we're prepared for it. It served us well in the ACC tournament for sure, and, and our hope is, you know, going into the NCAA tournament as well. Hey, what's it like? I mean, you've been through this before, but what's it like to be to know that you're home, and if you win, you're going to continue to be home? I know you don't look ahead, but mm -hmm. what's that feeling like? Um, it's assuring, you know. It's good to know that we're going to be playing at home. When what Ken said, in the comfortable position of, you know, the same routine of going to bed the night before, eating at you know the places. It's just that same routine that we've done prior for our home games. So it's really beneficial to us, and I think it will help us going in and just to stay in our rhythm and to know we have the fans behind us at Lynn. So that's, that's good for us. Being around the whole team again, have you, have you noticed that? Have you all learned anything that you, from the last few years of, of, of being a, a high seed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we learned a lot from, you know, making it that far and just, you know, that sadness in your heart after, you know, being a little disappointed not going to you know the promised land that we want to and i think it'll really just help inspire us and motivate us to you know get there once again and then to learn from our past you know little things like you know ken saying staying collective defensively and you know just being a team in those moments and you know you don't have to win but you got to advance and i think we learned from last year you know pks is what you know held us a little short and we worked pretty hard this year to get better at those so if that time comes again we'll be ready for it but if not you know, just the every moment leading up to it, we got to make sure we just put our best effort and be ready for every opportunity. Well, I, I hope the Louisville City fans uh, uh, haven't gotten rid of their passion for soccer and will come out and support us and uh, help drive us to a championship as well. And, um, you know, I, th I think it's been a good relationship. I think that uh, early on in, in their growth, uh, probably a big part of it was – uh, the fans that we had cultivated here and um, and likewise now with their continued growth and um, development and uh, in the fan base our hope is that that will help us as well is the way that trophy making it back to Louisville was something that kind of caught fire especially on social media how nerve-wracking was all that <laughs> well it was it was nerve-wracking for me because I wasn't on the flight we had to take two flights going back so I was following it like everybody else um, and I know some of it was tongue in cheek, but, uh, you know, the first question we, we received the trophy, uh, and I turned to Brandon F after this celebration, I said, well, how do we get this thing back to Louisville? And he says, oh, you, you just bring it on the flight. It's not a big deal. You know, somebody's got to sit with it on, on their lap. And I, I thought, okay, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And the players didn't, the players, uh, most of the players went on one flight. The, um, 
fair bit of the staff went on the other flight. We had our uh, assistant coaches with the, the players. And uh, the players didn't want to release this to the, you know, to us. So they took it with them. And um, it was uh, Tina uh, who was sitting next to me, and she caught the first tweet. And we were just howling, laughing, and, and yet at the same time saying, I wonder if it's actually in the cockpit right now. Or, and uh, the first thing I did, we hit, hit the ground, and uh, I, I texted John Michael. And I said, uh, did you guys land yet? He said, we just landed. I said, did the trophy make it? He says, yes, it's buckled in safe and sound. So it was, uh, I was, uh, it was fun to, to, to watch that on Twitter. And uh, we're so grateful for, uh, for that because it allowed us to follow their journey. That's a good question. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. It was, take, take it was even better firsthand. Like, we had it in the airport the whole time. Just, like, even when fans would come by, Waters and Young would pick it up and just start jumping up and down as if we just won the trophy. <laughs> and all the people in the airport loved it. And then when we got into the airport or the airplane, we first tried to hide it underneath the seat, and we were waiting for the lady to walk by and just, like, kind of made sure she didn't see it. And then she's like, oh, that item needs to be stowed away. And then we tried to fit it underneath, and it wouldn't fit. So then she's like, yeah, that's – that's uh, safety hazard we had to move that so then we tried to put it in the overhead compartment <laughs> wouldn't fit there and so then like the whole plane's just watching me and Watterson trying to like figure out what we're going to do with this and the flight attendants are trying to get the plane to leave so they're all like f literally frantic and then luckily there was a guy a really nice gentleman that had an open seat right next to him and we're like sir is that cool we just put it here and you buckle it up and he's like yeah but then he had to move seats to the aisle seat to be able to put it next to the window and then we buckled it up and then Luckily, the flight attendants were okay with it, <laughs> so it was a pretty fun ride for it to get home. What, what does that trophy mean to you? What does that championship mean to you? Uh, for me, it's it's it means the world. Uh, you know, being here four years and not ever coming home with a you know athletic trophy. We won the Card Cup and the Game Changer Cup, but just for you know soccer performance wise, we never had one. And you know that was one of my personal main focus this year to finally be able to. You know, remember back in my four years and being able to accomplish a, a trophy and just the collective work we put in this whole year to then get to this moment and then to, you know, take it one game at a time and to achieve it with, you know, every single one of my teammates. It's, it's incredible for us. And it's just pretty inspiring to, you know, a lot of the guys that, you know, are younger that haven't, you know, been through, you know, these four years like me, Cody, Watterson, and uh, Jeff, the seniors that, you know, it, it can happen any year. And just that belief, it's going to be, you know, very positive for the upcoming guys, and, you know, to continue the legacy. You know, un unfortunately, there are so many student athletes that spend uh, their career um, sacrificing, uh, investing, and give no less effort than what our guys gave this season, and especially over the last week. And yet there's, um, there's no symbol by which uh, there's a testament to that. And I think for our guys, bringing the trophy home, that is a symbol of everything that they put into it, investment-wise and sacrifice. It's awesome because it's not only a symbol for these guys, it's a symbol for everybody else that comes after them. And that's what we talked about with this group of how important this was. It wasn't just about the here and now, but this is a symbol for everybody else coming afterwards that if you do sacrifice and when you do put in that effort and um, that, that things like this are possible. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that have come before in our program and even in the history of, of the athletic department that have given just as much but don't necessarily have such a beautiful symbol like this to bring home that shows it. And it, their effort is no less you know, ad admirable and honorable, um, I would say that. And, and, that, and again, it's, it's not just, it is the history of the program that has produced this. It's not just the last three games. And, um, and we're, you know, again, we're a product of all of that. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Good job.